in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifests your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises aid to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Zechariah. The Lord of hosts says this, There will be other peoples yet, and citizens of great cities, and the inhabitants of one city will go to the next and say, Come, let us go and entreat the favour of the Lord, and seek the Lord of hosts. I am going myself. And many peoples and great nations will come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to entreat the favour of the Lord. The Lord of hosts says this, In those days, ten men of nations of every language will take a Jew by the sleeve and say, We want to go with you, since we have learned that God is with you. The Word of the Lord God is with us. On the holy mountain is his city, cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. God is with us. Babylon and Egypt I will count among those who know me. Felicia, Tyre, Ethiopia, these will be her children, and Zion shall be called Mother, for all shall be her children. God is with us. It is He, the Lord Most High, who gives each his place. In this register of peoples, He writes, these are her children, and while they dance, they will sing. In you, all will find their home. God is with us. Alleluia, alleluia. Bend my heart to your will, O Lord, and teach me your law. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As the time drew near for him to be taken up to heaven, Jesus resolutely took the road for Jerusalem and sent messenger ahead of him. This set out, and they went into a Samaritan village to make preparations for him. But the people would not receive him because he was making for Jerusalem. Seeing this, the disciples James and John said, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to burn them up? But he turned and rebuked them, and they went off to another village. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, reflecting on the readings leads me to the realization that at times I have been like the disciples of Jesus in being upset when the message I have preached is met with opposition. I sometimes fail to realize that God's plan is for all people. The divine plan is that all are called to come to a closer relationship with God, the Father, and the Lord Jesus in the unity of the Holy Spirit, even if it does not follow my timeline and my model. I sometimes have taken it personally when I have been rejected by others, and I have forgotten 
what Jesus says in Luke 10 verse 16. Whoever rejects you, rejects me and the one who sent me. God loved the rigid people and Jesus was friends with many of them which caused Jesus to be looked down upon by the Pharisees and others. The secret, I think, is recognizing our rigidness. We have all sinned and we will all sin again. But if we recognize our rigidness instead of pretending that it doesn't exist, then perhaps we can engage in the lunatic-like celebration as we are taken up to heaven. Sometimes, the simplest belief can be the most powerful and can help ground us in what's important. Today's responsorial psalms, as it responds, God is with us. What a great reminder that we are not alone as we start the day or end the day. God is with us as individuals and as a community. God is with us can help us ground our fears and hopes. We can fill our ups and downs with a powerful prayer. God is with us can lead to a prayer of thanksgiving when all is right with the world. Uttering the prayer on a deep breath can help calm an anxious moment. So, my dear brothers and sisters, let's continue to put our hope in God because He will always be with us. At the Savior's command, informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.